Hey, what's up guys? In this video, I'm going to be going over how you can create a dynamic day-night transition in Blender Cycles using the sun's rotation. So as you know, if you've ever tried to create a planet or the planet Earth or anything like that, uh, you'll know that you generally want to mix between two textures, a day texture and a night texture, depending on where the sun is hitting it. So on the night side, you can have your uh, city lights and stuff like that glow through, but you don't want those during the day. Um, so it's really handy to have a way to mix between those two based on the rotation of the sun. This was fairly easy in Blender internal. However, in Cycles, we don't have access to quite the same information, uh, but there's definitely a workaround that works quite well, and it doesn't take too long to set up. So for this example, I'm just going to use a basic sphere with a diffuse shader applied, and that's going to mix between two colors. The blue is going to represent the night side of the planet, and the orange is going to represent the day side of the planet. Similar to how we would mix these two in Blender internal to get this effect, we're going to use the normal node. So let's just go Shift A, Vector, and Normal. And we can plug the dot product of that into the factor. Now you're not going to see any difference yet, but that's because we're not telling cycles in which direction the faces of our sphere are pointing. So let's just go to Input and Geometry. And add in that normal right there. And now... If we play with this value here, it'll change the direction that this is facing. Now, I don't want to play with it because I want to leave it exactly at the center. And what we need to do is change the rotation of this based on the rotation of the sun. So if you have your sun facing straight down, you'll see here, if you press N on the keyboard, you'll get this panel here. Uh, and you'll see that as we rotate this, we get values for the X, Y, and Z rotation of the sun. So we need a way to get those values and plug them into here. And we can do that using the mapping node. So let's go uh, in Shift A, add vector mapping. So if we add a mapping node, you can see that we now have control over the rotation values right here. So it would be really cool if we could get a way to get the values of the sun from the transform panel into the mapping node. And we can do that really easily using drivers. Now, if you haven't used drivers before, it might be a little intimidating, but don't worry, it's actually really easy. So all you need to do is right click and just add drivers. And that's going to add drivers for you. And over here in the graph editor, you'll have to switch from F curves to drivers. If you click on one of these, you'll get access to all of the driver properties. Now we're going to leave the type at scripted expression. And that just means that whatever we type into here is going to end up being the driver value. So say if we type in five, that driver value for the X rotation is going to be five. Now, sometimes you have to move this around a little bit for it to update, but you'll see that a value of five plugs into the rotation and we get 286.479. You might think that's super weird, but if you look closely, you'll see that this is 286.479 degrees, which is different because the expression is being output as radians and so this will come into play a little bit later but first of all we have this variable because we don't want it to be a solid number we want it to be dependent on where the sun is facing so we can use a variable uh, it's automatically a transform channel which we definitely want to use because we want to get the transform information and we just change the object to sun so now we're getting information from the sun and we want the type of information to be x rotation because we're using the uh, X rotation here, and we'll just plug that X rotation right there. Now, if we type in the name of the variable, which is var, V-A-R, you can name that anything you want. Uh, but if we type that in, then all of a sudden, we're going to be using this rotation to drive that value. Like I said before, this is using radians instead of degrees. So we're it's kind of weird because we're plugging in degrees it's transforming it to radians, and then we're plugging it back into degrees. So what we need to do is actually add pi. So at the end of this, let's just plus pi, and that's just going to give us the correct value. So now if we, let's see, rotate this on the x direction, you can see that it is influencing the direction that our gradient is facing. So if I just clear the rotation uh, over here, we can now go back and do these, do the same thing to the rest. So for the Y, I'll just choose the sun Y rotation and change this to variable plus pi. And same for the Z, I'll choose the sun, choose Z rotation, 
anti variable plus pi. All right, so now that should work. If we rotate this around, we'll see that it is in fact working. However, some of them are opposite. So if we rotate this on the x-axis, you can see that it's the exact opposite of what we want. So that's pretty easy to change. We just need to flip the entire value. So if we go to the x rotation right here, you can put parentheses around this value and just put in a negative sign. And that's going to flip it. And we're going to need to flip the z rotation as well. So select the z rotation over on the left, put parentheses around your expression, and then just put a negative symbol at the front. If you don't put parentheses, it's going to make the variable negative. So instead of flipping the entire thing to give a value of 2.860, if you remove those, it's only going to flip the 2.81 and then add pi, so you're going to get a completely different value. So you want to flip the entire thing, use parentheses. All right, so now if we rotate this, everything should work fine. However, sometimes you might notice that when I rotate this on the Z, it's not actually doing anything. And I figured out the uh, best way to fix this, or the easiest way, is just to change the transform rotation type on the sun. So if you go to this transform end panel, change this from XYZ Euler to ZYX Euler. And now as you rotate this, you will get exactly the result that you want. So that's how you make a dynamic day-night transition for any sort of planet inside of cycles. I hope you find that tip useful. Obviously, the use cases for this go well beyond just a planet, and you can use drivers for so many things, uh, and it's very, very easy to use. So thanks for watching this video, and I hope to see you in the next one.